What's up guys, it's uh, Tim here with A4 Outdoors again and I want to show you if you guys got to see the bag video um, from Kimmy Moto. We've actually used it as far as on a ride now and in the last video I had the bag here, the storage bag. So since then what I have gotten is the pivot rack from Kimmy Moto also. Um, if you know, if you've looked at any accessories, Can-Am makes a pivot rack. And now Kimimoto makes one that's basically exactly the same. Um, so I got it, put it together, got it on here, and have used it on a ride. And I'm going to tell you what, this is one of my favorite accessories, period. So um, we used to have the toolbox and the floorboard just because, you know, we had door bags and stuff like that. But um, you can't get a lot of, like, tools and air compressor and stuff like that in the door bag. So um, stuff was just in the floorboards, kind of, you know, strapped around and then we didn't use a lot of stuff carry it which you know is not the greatest so um i want to show you this video this is the pivot link the rack from from um kimimoto i did modify one thing on it just because this is specifically for a spare tire carrier um but i'm not going to use it for that i'm going to use it for the bag so the nice thing about it though it's got the same rack the link q rack that's kind of like the hip bed here and it's on the four wheelers so once you put that together, um, the instructions, you just it kind of gives you a good idea of where it bolts together. And once you get it bolted together, you got to line it up a little bit and it works great. So what I did do is since I did have the Pro Box roof, there is a bar in the back that kind of goes up. You can't really see it because I've actually cut it off. Um, there's a bar that, that goes from here and it kind of makes a loop. That's where your spare tire will kind of butt up against and you strap it down. Um, that loop was hitting my light bar on the Pro Box roof. So if you have a regular roof, it's not going to hit or anything like that. But just the Pro Box roof with the light bar, that bar hit it. So I just cut it off with the portable band. Doesn't look bad. I mean, you can't, even, you can't even see it from here unless you got up top and looked at it. So now it opens up all the way. So the nice thing is when you're, you can have your cooler on the bottom. I've actually got it on the four-wheeler right now because we're going to go on a ride this weekend but um with the four wheelers to an atv park so i keep my bag with all my tools in it up top and then the cooler on the bottom that way you can still have your drinks and stuff like that and st carry stuff so the nice thing about it also is when your can-am coolers on here you can still open it enough to reach your hand in there and get drinks you can't open it all the way but if you want to open it all the way like when you're loading the cooler up all you do is just kind of hold down on that, flip your link cue, your little holders in there, and the cylinders. They're pretty strong cylinders. Uh, when I put a lot of weight in here, I've got to kind of just get it going, and then it lifts up. The nice thing is that joker lifts up out of the way. I did have to move my whips because they just barely hit when they're lifted now, but now they don't, you know. You do have to, if you have an XRS, or I believe it's an RC or what, with the three-inch three, three inch shocks in the back, you have to rotate them in or out. They say rotate them out. I rotated them in and got them. I just didn't want them to get hit and stuff like that. Everything's good. Nothing's hitting now. You just got to play around with it a little bit. But um, now you can open your cooler all the way up. Lid opens all the way up. Load it up with ice. Be, you know, your drinks or whatnot. And you're good to go. So once you get your cooler down, you just kind of pull it down. Lock that one in. Lock that one in. And she's ready to go. I mean, you're just... When you need stuff out of here... Um, it is hard to get to because it is high, so I just step up on the tire to get to what I need to get. I actually can fit a little small Milwaukee chainsaw, Milwaukee air compressor, my tool kit, belt, straps. I put all that in there, so that's the nice part about that. So definitely recommend this. If you ride all day, you need to carry some extra tools and stuff like that, or even a spare tire. If you ride out west, a lot of the western guys carry spare tires, stuff like that. It fits perfectly on here. Comes with everything you see here. I don't think it gives you, it didn't come with the, the strap for the tire. So you'll have to put like a little strap on it or something like that to hold the spare tire. But this bag hooks right in it perfectly. Hauled it down the road all the way to West Virginia, 75, 80 miles an hour. Didn't open, didn't do anything. Rode it, good, great. Everything worked out great. So highly recommend this. I'll put a link in the description. I think you can save a couple hundred bucks by going with the Kimimoto one. Seems to work great. Um, uh, not that the Can-Am one's not, you know, anything wrong with the Can-Am is probably just as good, if not better. But, um, Kimimoto one's great. Saves you a couple hundred bucks, I think. 
like I said, I'll put the link in the description. Um, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, uh, you know, we really would appreciate if you would and hit a like if this was video is helpful. But the rear pivot rack comes with the hydraulic cylinders and everything. Thing works. It's freaking awesome. I love it. So I just let, you know, goes up there. Still get your, you know, drinks. And like I said, it will work with the Can-Am cooler. So, um, and then you can still get your hand in. You can't open it all the way, but it opened enough to get your hand in and stuff like that. So the X3s, you can't really see out of the back. So this wheel block, you, you know, being able to see out of the back, you got a little gap here, but we have the rear view camera. So it's not that important. But um, anyway, guys, hit a like if you like this video and we'll see you next time.